I was like, hello everyone. No, that's totally fine to have conversations. Honestly, like I want it to be relaxed. You know what I mean? So hello, hello everyone. Heather here with today's True Beauty free virtual yoga class. Um, so I'm very excited for today's class just because it's really personal to me. Um, it's really personal to a lot of women I've been chatting with lately in our wellness consult. So tonight's class for our True Beauty live yoga class is yoga for, basically yoga for spring detox, but also for releasing guilt, okay? So we're kind of doing a combination here. So on a physical level, we're detoxing the body. Um, on a mental level, we're even detoxing the body, but on a more emotional level, since emotions tend to be the root cause of a lot of physical ailments, we're going to be releasing guilt. Um, so we just had a really nice conversation before we started filming, and we were just talking about how women in general, we tend to just, hang on to guilt and it's so silly you know it really is just something we need to really just let go of and it's something that it's you know it weighs us down really from achieving our dreams it weighs us down from feeling our best and sometimes we even you know carry physically carry weight and things like that because it's our armor because of guilt or feelings of being vulnerable so I really want to encourage you guys as the seasons are changing, as you know, um, you know, it's, it's spring, it's all about you know being fresh and renewal, is really just making that decision if you have been carrying guilt with you for years. Some of the people I talk with in my wellness consults, literally, I just had a wellness consult, we're talking 10 plus years, um, people are carrying guilt. So let's release that. Um, if it's something more recently, then okay, let's go ahead and just let that go so that we're not carrying that for another, you know, five, ten years, okay? So um, I do want to remind you guys that this Saturday is our um, continuing education class for doTERRA. We have one on the fourth Saturday of every month um, at one of my girlfriend's studios, and we always film it, and we'll be placing it online. Um, so as always, let me know if you're interested in that. It's all, it goes actually hand in hand with tonight's class. It's all about spring detox for your body. So definitely stay tuned and, and um, check that out. If you've not already liked my Facebook page, be sure to do that. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, all of that. You can link from my blog, truebeautymovement.com. So you guys, tonight, um, there are a few different oils that are associated with guilt and also with detoxing since they do go hand in hand, okay? So we're not gonna put on all of these tonight. We are like, okay, this is like a lot of oils. Like that's a lot to tackle at one time. But I did want to feature all of them in case a specific oil speaks to you. If you're at home and you have one of these oils, you can use this tonight. Maybe you don't have all of them. Um, so the oils that are associated with guilt and also can help with detoxing the body is um, Zendocrine. So this is the top oil we're going to feature tonight. This is a very powerful oil um, by doTERRA. It's actually called the Detoxification Blend. Okay. Um, so we're definitely going to use this. It's um, linked to our fulfillment. So, and also our creativity. So think of the core here, hence my orange shirt tonight. I literally wore this on purpose for you guys for the orange chakra, okay? So the next oil is Purify. This is the cleansing blend. So you notice kind of a little bit of a theme here, okay? The next one is Peppermint. So very invigorating. We feature this a lot in class. The next one is Mel Luca. Really, really cleansing for the body, especially if you're breakout prone. And then we have actually HD Clear, so we think of that for breakouts, but it's actually going to be really good for things like the throat chakra if we're needing to express ourselves and remove guilt, okay? So tonight, what I really want to focus on, um, it really just spoke to me when I was planning this class, is the detox blend and then purify, okay? So um, that is Zendocrine, which is the detox blend, and purify, which is the cleansing blend. And as we normally do, um, of course, if you're at home, you can put this on the bottom of your feet. If you're in class, you guys feel free to do that too. We're going to take, actually, I want to do the detox blend first. So go ahead and just do two drops. We don't want to do too much of that. It's pretty intense in a good way, though. And then two drops of the Purify. We're going to rub our wrists together. Okay, again, if you have excess, you can put it on the bottom of your feet. Since the pores are large on the bottom of your feet, it'll enter your bloodstream within 30 seconds. Zendocrine, okay, this one right here, really, really intense, okay? Um, this is not one where you need a lot. A little goes a long way. You're detoxing your body, okay? So if you're going to ingest this, I would start with just one drop a day, okay? So if you're going through some type of detox. And again, stay tuned on the Saturday's event because we'll go into a lot more detail on that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place it on the back of the neck. They create a really nice balance here. One thing that's really nice is a lot of these blends have what you need. So the cleansing blend, which smells so beautiful, it has Melaleuca already inside of it. So you're kind of saving there, and it's really getting the job done for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this around. So Zendocrine first. And we're going to actually do, let's do it here. Actually, excuse me, we have to. Okay, well, purify. Okay, yeah. 
Isn't it good? Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about Purify, you guys, but Purify reminds me of like fresh linens. Like it's very <laughs> cleansing and I just, I love the, the fresh scent that it has. It's actually one of my favorites just to put in the diffuser at home. So um, remember, you could actually do a blend of all of this in your diffuser if you're moving through guilt. You could put this, um, one thing I was recommending for one of my recent clients is she can take her HD clear and then you could empty it out a little bit and then you could add in your Zendocrine, like a couple drops, you could add in your Purify and then you could add in, you don't need Maluka because it's, um, it's in HD clear and it's in your uh, Purify. And then you can add like one drop peppermint is all you need. And you can rub this on the throat to express yourself, on the heart to heal. So that could be a really good blend for you and you already have your rollerball. So just FYI on that. So as we get started here, you guys, we're going to go ahead and just start to close our eyes. Start to press our shoulders up towards the ears. Take a nice deep inhale. And as we start to exhale, just start to stretch the arms up above the head. And just kind of take your time here. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. We're just feeling the body, kind of feeling present. So good for us to not overthink things and just really allow ourselves to stretch wherever it needs to be stretched. So if you were in Tuesday's class or you took Tuesday's class at home, you may be feeling a little sore. It was a pretty intense class. We did a lot of cardio, high calorie burn. So you may want to kind of stretch all through the hips. We did a lot of hip openers. Whatever feels good. You can even come forward a little bit here and just start to bring your forearms forward and just start to bow forward. Just release the low back. And just exhale. So it's Thursday. It's the end of the week. So just start to release here. So if you've not already done this, go ahead and just start to move towards this. We're going to start to move the forearms as far forward as you possibly can. Okay, the key here is if I go too far forward, I start to lift up my, bot my bottom a little bit. We don't want to lift it up. We want to try to tilt the tailbone. That's our self-confidence, okay? our sense of stability. And we want to flatten the hands so we have the hands nice and flat to the edge of the mat. And then just start to tilt the tailbone a little bit more, and then just start to open up. So really, I can even feel from Tuesday's class, my left hip felt a little bit tight. So I can feel I need to kind of release that. So it might be different for you or the same. So just start to exhale, release. And just going as far down as you possibly can here. Remember, if you are at home, you can always have a pillow or a bolster or a blanket here. If you can't go all the way down, that's just fine. Take your time. And just start to reflect here. I want you to reflect on anything in your life that you feel guilty about. Anything, it can be past, present, or future. Because sometimes we even feel guilty about things in the future, things that haven't even happened yet. You kind of project. So just start to exhale. Relax the heart. And just give yourself a moment here just to completely connect to your Ujjayi breath. Deep, slow inhale, deep, slow exhale. And again, just start to explore. So it can be really open for anything that you may feel guilty about. forgiving ourselves or forgiving any situation. You can also start to realize that there's any kind of maybe silly guilt there where you're feeling it, but it may be more about someone else. You might just be hanging on to it. 
It might be more about them than it is more about you. So just kind of be open. Again, there's no silly answers here, so sometimes we hang on to things, even if it's a kind of a not very meaningful situation, but let's release that regardless. It's not serving you. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start a little detox to the heart, okay? So if you need to come up a little bit at all, if the feet are falling asleep or anything, feel free to wiggle the toes. And then we're going to slowly come back down. So we have the left foot in front at this point, okay? And what I want you to do is start to just move the feet out, kind of like jimmy the feet out just a little so we're opening through the hips a little bit more. And here what we're going to do is start to move. This is the left arm down, okay? We have the palm facing up. So this is definitely stretching that left hip I was just talking about. So if you're in Tuesday's class, this will be really good, okay? We're going to open that up. And then slowly just see how far down you can kind of connect here. You can just let the head kind of hang out. You can go all the way down. We're going to take our right hand and just put it on top or kind of like on the bottom of the left foot. There you go. So connecting here, kind of giving yourself a little bit of a break. This helps to comfort us a little bit. And exhale, just slowly start to release. If there's any tightness in the body at all, notice where it's at and see if on your next exhale you can just soften that a little bit more. So releasing some control. And just really working on letting things be, having not, not really having judgment on yourself or on others in any situation and just kind of let things be, let things progress naturally. Realizing that every single thing happens for a reason. And sometimes even a little bit of turmoil or sometimes kind of like hard times or things that we've gone through, sometimes that can actually make us stronger or can lead us to a certain calling. Or weirdly, if it's you with somebody else, it can actually bring you closer. You're just seeing the layers of each other here. So we're going to slowly start to come up, okay? Take your time, we're gonna move to the opposite side. So now we have the right shoulder, okay? We're crossing over, we have the left, I'm gonna go ahead and face you guys for this part. So we have basically the left hand, okay, is touching the top of the other foot. You can actually switch sides here too. So you can have the right foot in front this time, okay? Then we're bringing that right hand out. Then we have the left hand, basically on the bottom of the right foot, and just relax here. Deep exhale. And just take a moment here for gratitude. So this might seem a little weird, but it's actually really good. We're expanding the mind here. So what we want to do here is just start to think of anything positive, anything you're grateful for from this guilt. So anything positive that's coming from it could be finding an inner strength, finding your voice. Go ahead and express your gratitude when you're ready. So remember, it's universe, God, higher self, or say whatever feels right for you, whatever speaks to you. I'm so happy and grateful for. And just focus on the positive associated with this guilt. What's something, I don't care how small it is, something positive that this led to. It could be some type of even just self-growth or self-love that came from that. Beautiful, and we're just going to slowly start to come up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to go ahead and just detox through the neck a little bit. So as we detox through that, I want you to go ahead and bring the legs straight out. So just start to straighten the legs a little bit. Start to flex the feet, okay? And we're going to go ahead and just move the neck to the right slightly. We're going to go ahead and reach the hands up. So just stretch. So we're intertwining the fingers, reaching towards the sky. And then I want you to bring the hands down just for a moment here. 
So think of when we do like eagle posture, we start to move the arms, you know how we kind of do that little twist? So we're gonna have the right arm underneath, okay? The left arm comes through, and you can start by just giving yourself a little hug, okay, right here. So you can always start here, this is kind of like level one, wherever you're at here. Level two is where you start to cross through a little bit more. Level three, we're trying to touch the hands, okay? It doesn't really matter where you're at, this is really just about opening through the heart a little bit more. We're lifting up, so notice how we're kind of wringing out toxins here, through the arms, through the heart, through the core, hold the belly button to the spine, beautiful, you guys. We're flexing the feet, okay? And just slowly start to twist, so the right shoulder moves to the back of the room, a little core workout. I told you we were working that orange and yellow chakra, hence the shirt, that's what we want here. Okay, so press the right shoulder back, hold the belly button to the spine. Deep inhale at the same time, beautiful. You guys see if you can lift up the hand towards the ceiling, a little bit higher, beautiful. And then we're trying our best to move. If you're already here, you have looks really good. We're trying to have almost kind of like a prayer position as much as we can. That's full expression of the posture. So be really patient with yourself. This is pretty intense. Lifting through the hands. And we're going to set our intention here for basically releasing that guilt. If this has to do with another person, I want you to have that intention to have clear, honest communication, even if it's uncomfortable sometimes. So this allows you to progress, allows you to grow as a person. And really this actually leads to more connection with other people or even that person. So just be open there. Move that right shoulder further back. And exhale, release the hands. We have the palms facing up here. Very nice, you guys. Shoulders are back. Just notice the heat in the body. You might even have some tingling in the hands. That's really common here. Okay, that's a good thing. We're releasing unneeded energy. And then we're going to move to the opposite side. So we're just starting to twist to the left, okay? Now we have the left arm out. We're bringing that right arm through. So give yourself a little hug, okay? And then we start to twist a little bit more. Okay, then we try to grab onto our hands, think about prayer position, lift the fingers towards the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yep, so basically we have, let's see, the left hand, okay, left, we're bringing the right through, and then give yourself a hug, then keep on going, and then lift, and then now we have the left shoulder towards the back of the room. Deep inhale, lift through the hands, deep exhale, soften through the shoulders, make sure we're flexing the feet. You guys look great, so the feet are touching completely together here. Deep Ujjayi breath. So here we're gonna set our intention for any type of growth that you wanna see from moving through this guilt, so releasing it. Any type of progress that you wanna see as a person, whatever your ideal kind of next level of awareness is here. Once you've defined your intention fully here, go ahead and release the hands. Notice what came to you, okay? So what came to you might be something a little bit unexpected or something you're kind of aware of, aware of but it's not right on your radar. And we're just going to bow forward here. Deep stretch. We have the feet together, so we're stretching all through the hips, through the glutes. And exhale, soften, lowering a little bit more. Okay, so pull a little bit deeper here, so bringing the nose towards the knees. That deep stretch through the hips, through the glutes, that's what we want here. And slowly come all the way up. So we're going to point the toes, we're going to move onto our knees, so fingers all the way to the edge of the mat. All right, so here what we're going to do is start to just tuck the toes, let's do a couple sun salutations just to get blood flowing here. So let's go ahead and do downward dog. So downward dog is actually really good for detoxing the body. Whenever we're going upside down, right, um, if we're basically doing an inversion here, that's really good for releasing. So go ahead and just walk the dog. Again, if you were doing Tuesday's class, you might be a little tight in the hips, so just start to stretch it out. Press through the back, so just kind of straighten the knees. Lower the chin all the way to the sternum. 
And exhale, just start to sink into the shoulders, start to just soften your energy here. So just imagine like no one else is in the room. And just allow for that stillness. Just living in your strength, living in your highest potential. Releasing any of the stuff. Sometimes we hang on to things like guilt or certain things that really don't serve us, certain people that don't serve the highest version of who we are because it's comfortable, okay? So let's go ahead and release that and allow you to be a little uncomfortable in a positive way. So allow you to really just connect to the highest version of who you are, even if it makes you a little uncomfortable. So weirdly, when we kind of face our fears and get a little uncomfortable, we tend to expand our consciousness. We tend to really expand our happiness to the next level. It's amazing how that works, okay? So on the other side of fear is our happiness. So we're gonna go ahead and start to bend the knees, okay? So kind of stick the booty out a little bit here. We're working the arms. And here what we're gonna do, if you check out, check out what I'm doing here, it's gonna be down for dog stance with the arms. Just be aware of those, the wrists, okay? We're gonna lower down, okay? Notice I'm kind of hovering. We're working the arms here, okay? And we're kind of just hovering my knees. They're not all the way down, okay? So hovering here. Okay, inhale, lift. So my knees kind of stay the same. Exhale, all about the arms here. All about how we reach other. So exhale and inhale. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. So let's all meet on that inhale. Okay, check out kind of just a little bit lower than your wrist in the center. Get ready and exhale, beautiful inhale. Exhale, inhale. Uh-huh, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, you're doing great. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, a little faster. Exhale, inhale, 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 press all the way back to downward facing dog. So those legs would be a little sore. That's what we want. So here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring the feet a little bit wider. So we're going to actually have, it's almost like the toes are going out towards the mat. There's wide as the mat. We have the heels a little bit more narrow. Okay. And we're just going to slowly kind of crouch down a little bit here. We're going to bring our left hand, okay, to the center. So we're working the legs here, our foundation to who we are. And we're reaching up towards the sky. So again, we're detoxing here. We're bringing out any toxins in the spine, in the heart chakra, and in the throat chakra. Allow you to have the courage, the confidence to express yourself, release anything stuck in the heart chakra, relationships, trust, closure, grief is a big one. And exhale, bring the hand down. Go ahead and straighten the legs. You can come up on the fingertips, you can bend the knees, whatever feels good here. Just give those legs a little bit of a break. There's a great. And then we have that right hand to the center of the mat. Okay, bend the knees. And opposite side. So reaching towards the sky. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And inhale. Start to straighten the knees. Beautiful. And slowly just start to bring your feet so they're back to parallel here. And we're just going to kind of slowly just start to have fun with this a little bit. Just start to walk forward. And just slowly start to rock left and right. So we're grabbing onto the opposite elbow. Be a little more lighthearted here. Deep breath. All right, so transitioning to our sun salutations here. Slowly start to come up. All the way up. So on Tuesday, we did Sun Salutation B. We're going to do one of those here, okay? So we're really warming up Utkatasana or chair posture. So inhale. Remember, we bend the knees at first in Sun Salutation B. Make sure you can see the very edge of the big toe. So to reach the hands up towards the sky, shoulders on the spine, tilt the tailbone. Okay, so find your drift here and your focus up on the ceiling. And exhale, hands behind the calf muscles. Deep stretch, shoulders back, away from the ears. And then just gently start to bring your weight forward here. Make sure that we're not clenching our toes. And inhale, half lift. So gazing between the heels. Exhale, plant the hands, stepping back, full plank. So we're going to do upward dog tonight, okay? So heels to the back of the mat. And lower down. Elbows are nice and tight. Trying to transition to upward dog. Working the arms. Very nice. 
Shoulders back, open really wide through the heart here. Okay, so wide collarbone. Lift the chin and just pause. Find your breath. And exhale all the way back. So downward facing dog, chin to the sternum. And inhale right away, left foot, or excuse me, the right foot forward, left at a 45 degree angle. We're reaching towards the stars here. So remembering warrior one or Virabhadrasana one, we have the hips forward, okay, you guys? So then start to reach up, the hands are wide. And exhale all the way down. So back to plank. Make this really strong here. We're taking our time. So we're doing some strength training here and cardio. Heels to the back of the mat. Find your focus. Remember, it's upward facing dot, okay? So we're lowering down and sliding up towards the sky. Lift the chin and pause. And exhale all the way back down the facing dog. Adho Mukha Svasana. Walk it out a little bit. Make sure the hips aren't tight. And inhale, left foot forward, right in 45 degree angle. We're coming all the way up, reaching towards the stars. And try to just move your thumbs a little bit further in the back of the room. This time, hips forward. And exhale all the way back. So here, full plank, heels to the back of the mat, so to micro bend those elbows a little bit. And lower down. So upward facing dog, lift the chin. And exhale all the way back. So this is your moment to pause, downward facing dog. So that nice inversion, just pause. Close your eyes, whatever feels good. If you're in your home or in the yoga studio here, you can gently open up your eyes. Just notice where your eyes kind of go. Maybe notice a different perspective here, especially when it comes to guilt. You can put yourself maybe in a different other person's kind of point of view. If it does involve someone else, oftentimes guilt does. Sink into the shoulders. And inhale, we're just going to walk to the front of the mat into half forward fold. Gaze between the heels and exhale, pull even deeper here. So remember those shoulders are to the back of the room, away from the ears. Bring the weight forward, nose towards the knees. And inhale, so this is where we're going to start to bend the knees here. Just allow the chest to kind of relax on the knees, okay? Sitting back and we're grabbing behind the ankles. And just pause. And slowly all the way. So Utkatasana, reaching towards the star, tilt the tailbone all the way up. Close your eyes. You should be feeling pretty warm, especially if the room you're in is warm. That's what we want. Go ahead and just bring your hands together. Connect to your heart space. So just listen to your heart. And just think of anything that brings you peace or anything that has brought you peace recently. So it doesn't matter what it is. It could be sitting at a coffee shop. It could be putting on your oils. It could be sitting out in nature. Whatever it is for you. Something where you are alone. So if this was something today, that's fantastic. You really should be very proud of that. If it was something this week, that's still very good. If it was something that's kind of hard to remember or you're not quite sure when, or you're kind of racking your mind, just it's not a bad thing, just kind of take note of that. It's really important to have that time, especially that alone time, to be able to really just reflect and connect to that place of bliss. So just letting go, even if it's just for a second. So remember, we're releasing all guilt, so no guilt for that. If that does speak to you, just we're moving to a place of making ourselves a priority a little bit more, okay? So we're going to start to tilt the tailbone, a little micro bend in the knees, okay? 
And then we're just going to set up our chakras for success here. So that little micro bend in the knees, and start to tilt the tailbone, okay? We have the knees towards, come towards the outside of the mat, so it's that isometric movement. This not only slims the thighs, it's really, really, really good for just strength training overall, boosting the metabolism. So we tilt the tailbone a little bit. So if I the booty out, we're kind of tilting it under. And then we're doing that little micro bend. Elbows are in nice and tight, okay? So to hold the belly into the spine, it might feel a little funky at first, but you're actually aligning your chakras. So belly into the spine, shoulders back. Not like this, too. We want to have our shoulders right below the ears, okay? So we're not overly exposing ourselves here. We're nice and balanced. We're also not protecting ourselves. Okay, so nice and balanced here. Lower the chin. Start to exhale. Great breath, you guys. So we're going to start to work those legs a little bit, okay? So start to bend the knees. Okay, so think of the toss in a chair posture. We're going to bring our hands to our center. I do want to have us touch our hands. It's going to feel really good to have that stability here. So sitting back, make sure we tilt the tailbone, okay? Once you're here, just going to pause. Shoulders back. So see if you can really work the biceps here. See if you can kind of press the arms or the hands into one another. Tilt the tailbone. Lower the chin. So our gaze, I would say it's maybe three feet in front of you at most. Okay, aligning to our upper chakras. So we're getting a little teaser there. Go ahead and straighten the legs. Great job, guys. Exhale, lower down. Tilt the tailbone and slowly twist. So here, you can just kind of attempt to move here, right, a little twist. You can have that left elbow kind of touch that right, the right thigh. Just remember here, sometimes this will happen where we bring our left um, knee out a little bit more. We want to have those knees in perfect alignment, okay? So it's okay if that happens, just remind yourself to have that alignment, and then try to hook on the outside of the knee. So we're stacking the shoulders, wide knees, as wide as the hips, deep exhale, Sitting back a little bit more. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the toes, you're doing great. And exhale, release. Good job, guys. And just sway, whatever feels good. So not only are we burning calories, we're melting away fat, we're melting away anything that's really just not really serving us, it's just we, something we need to release, okay? So again, that's a physical level. A much deeper level, it's an emotional level. That's why we're just noticing this detox all through the pores. Sweating a little bit here, so start to bend the knees, okay? Start to bring the hands together a little bit deeper. So what we're going to do here, we're going to place, this is going to be the left hand outside, so bring your feet in a little narrow, outside of the, um, the right foot, okay? So bend the knees as much as you can and reach towards the stars. Finding your focus. See if you can bring your nose up towards the ceiling. And exhale, straighten the legs, release. Close your eyes. Just allow the body to feel good here. Just start to sway wherever it feels right. You might create circles, whatever feels good. So notice if there's any tightness in the back, in the chest. If there is, if a specific spot stands out, notice what side of the back it's on and where it's at, okay? So if it's the left side, that's linked to your right brain, okay? That's our creativity, our fulfillment, our relationships, okay? So just be aware of that. If it's your right side somewhere, okay, that's associated with our left brain, our sense of control, our chronological thinking, kind of the chronological layout of how we kind of plan on things going, okay? So just be aware. See if you need to release any control there. And slowly start to bend the knees, okay? So opposite sides. So remember, we have the hands together here. And just pause for a moment, so about two, three feet at most in front of you. 
tilt the tailbone so we have that self-confidence here, that stability, that family life. Also our abundance, by the way, okay? So this can be physical money, riches, but also just a sense of abundance. Shoulders are back. And exhale, we're gonna go ahead and twist. So looking up towards the sky, wide knees, as wide as the hips. Be aware of that one right knee too. I can feel mine wanting to come forward. So keep those knees in alignment here. And exhale, start to straighten the legs. The legs are gonna go, oh my goodness, give me a break. <laughs> They're definitely gonna be feeling the burn here, baby. That's what we want. You're doing awesome. Keep it up, we're almost done. You guys are doing awesome. Just sway. All right, right into it. So we're gonna bend the knees. So remember here, we have the right hand going out to the left foot, okay? So bending as much as we can. Remember, if it doesn't reach all the way there, you guys, you can grab onto like the shin or the outside of the calf muscle. That's just fine. Full expressions outside the pinky toe. And then we're reaching towards the stars here. Knees about as wide as the hips. Deep breath. Nose towards the sky. And straighten the legs. Release. Fulfilling your highest potential here. So allowing yourself to live in alignment with the highest version of who you are, your highest potential. We're going to reach behind us here. So grab onto the opposite elbow behind us and just start to bring the weight forward slightly. You can start to create little circles here. So we're using all four corners of the foot. Just making sure we're grounded. And opposite circles. So here we're going to do a little micro bend in the knees just to make sure we feel nice and stable. So we're going to move our way towards Shavasana. We're going to take our left foot back and we're basically, it's almost like we're proposing, okay? So we're proposing to our highest version of ourselves, right? So here what we're doing is we're on our left knee, okay? We have our right knee bent here, okay? We're going to then return back to reaching behind us. And just make sure this is important. You want to have your knee above your ankle, okay? So some people will do this. That can really hurt your joints long term on a physical level. So really make sure we're stacking our strength. We're growing, expanding like a tree on our strength, okay? So same thing back here. Knee below the hip. Strong alignment. Reaching behind us and then slowly, so use your hands here. Come to your arms out as like a crutch. We're lifting through the heart. So lifting up and then back. Little back bend. Listening to our heart, our highest potential, but also our expression here. We're also, this is that peppermint, trusting our intuition. So if you're swaying back and forth, that's a good thing. We're working it here. Lots of energy. Try to find that inner stillness as we lift a little bit higher through the throat, through the chest. We're going to exhale. So try to keep your hands where they're at, okay? Easier said than done. If you topple over, that's very normal here, okay? This is an inner balance. So notice how I'm kind of taking baby steps. Phew, I need a little break there, okay? So here we're gonna do is we're gonna start to take our left hand, or excuse me, our left foot. Okay, same thing, make sure you have really strong alignment. So we have the left knee over that left ankle, okay? Wide toes here. Right knee right below the right hip, okay? Nice and stable, find your drishti and lift. Reaching your highest potential here, shoulders back. Listening to your heart. Deep breath.
slowly exhale, start to lower the chin. Great, focus you guys. So same thing, kind of take your time here. We're gonna go back into our knees here. All right, so we're gonna take our hands, place them on the glutes, on the booty, whatever you wanna call it, okay? So kind of on the hip booty area, and go ahead and just reach back. So you wanna find that comfort where we have the knees move, or excuse me, the elbows moving towards one another, okay? So start to just lift through the heart, and stretching back here. Little back bend. So if you'd like, you can go a little further, okay? So listen to the body. You can grab onto your heels here. I always like to start with one arm to kind of build my confidence. Then I start to move into the other arm and I'm lifting through the heart. And release. Eyes closed. If you choose to go all the way back, start to bend the knees. Okay, you might be shaking a little bit. So am I, so take your time here. You really don't want to shock the body. So start to bend your knees, you go all the way down, very nice. And then we're gonna slowly start to move onto our bottom here. So here, guys, I wanna really make sure that low back's protected. So we're gonna kind of hug in nice and tight because you're doing awesome, okay? So this is obviously, this is needed. For some reason, this class is really needed today for a lot of people. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of just balance on our booty, okay? Go ahead and point the toes. And what we're going to do is start to just hug your, your knees in nice and tight, so towards the heart. We're kind of doing a self-protecting of the heart, but it's in a positive way. Instead of um, protecting this way, where we're keeping others out, we're, we're just protecting ourselves. It's kind of like self-love, okay? So this is a good thing, confidence, so think bergamot oil. So shoulders back, start to lower the chin. If you need to, you can bring one foot down, both feet down. That's just fine. I like to point my toes. It's kind of a little bit of an anchor. Okay? Shoulders back a little bit more. And just start to lower the chin down. Allow yourself. This can be if people are going through any type of grief, any type of emotional stuff. You're just giving yourself a moment to really feel that and let it be okay. Okay? So it's really important for the healing process for any type of guilt, anything that you've been through, um, anything like that. So just listen to that. So we're going to slowly just repeat to ourselves here three times, it's okay. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. And it's okay. you guys so those of you who have been wellness consults with recently and that speaks to you you know who you are shoulders are back this speaks to a lot of people I feel on different levels so just start to press the shoulders back a little bit here so we do want to make sure we have strong feet here okay we're not kind of all limp here we want to be really strong in who we are and our roots of who we are so to just start to place the hands on top of the thighs here so really intentional here and just slowly we're working that core here so think the orange chakra and the yellow pull the butt into the spine we're going to pause right here lift the chin you might shake here this is intense so it's very natural to shake i'm sure i will in just a second there we go so you want to find that spot where you start to shake a little bit that means you're working it that's what we want Shoulders are back, work the core, work the core, you got this. Very nice guys, belly button to the spine, keep going, keep going, keep going. And release, relax the body. Exhale, palms are facing up. Just notice how the body feels. Relax 
the heart. So if there's any adjustment that you need to make, you can go ahead and make that here. Try your best to stay as still as possible. Just a little minor adjustment if that's needed. You just kind of notice how the body landed. Notice if the hips feel aligned, if they feel a little off. So the body is a map. So notice the shoulders, the feet. Notice if one leg feels a little longer than the other or shorter based on the hips, based on the core. Just start to allow yourself to imagine yourself living again that highest version of who you are. So moving through anything that you need to move through. And as you exhale, just allow any negative energy, any guilt, anything that your body needed to move through to allow you to grow to the next level, allow that to release and just fall away from the body, allow it to neutralize first and return back to the earth as you exhale. Any self-limiting beliefs. So if you have a vision board, I want you to think of your vision board here. If you don't, I'll definitely guide you on that in the future. But I want you just to think of the highest version of yourself when you think of who that person is, what that looks like. And as you start to let go, just let yourself take in every little detail. Notice the first image you think of. That's very powerful. start to let go.
I am authentically creating a life free of stress and full of bliss. As you slowly start to come back from your meditation, start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Start to move into the wrists and the ankles, just energizing the body slightly as we move into the weekend, the end of the week. Notice how the body feels, the mind feels, the spirit feels as we start to stretch the hands, point the toes, whatever feels good. And exhale, we're gonna roll into our right arm as you guys are laying down, onto our right side. And we're gonna go ahead and place our left hand on our lower abdominal muscles. So think of that orange chakra, okay? So think of your belly button. And just come full circle here with your gratitude. So anything in your life that's currently in your life that you feel grateful for. And I would really focus on relationships. That keeps coming up for me for you guys. So any relationships, doesn't matter who it is, parent, significant other, child, friend. On your next inhale, slowly press yourself up to comfortable seated position. We have the left foot in front. And we're going to go ahead and bring our hands a little bit more traditional here. So bring our hands to heart center, allow for that space. Go ahead and lift the elbows so they're parallel to the ground. Go ahead and tilt the tailbone, belly button, the spine, nice and strong here. Lower the chin just slightly. You still want to expose the throat chakra. Slow, deep, ujjayi, inhale and exhale. I am truly so happy and grateful you could all be here tonight to connect to this beautiful space to release any guilt, to detox anything that's pulling you back from your highest potential and to create with all of us true beauties to help us to manifest the life of our dreams together. There's so much power in coming together and connecting. The divine in me recognizes the divine and light in each one of you. And where these lights meet, we say, Namaste. Namaste. strongly um, I need to tell you guys if you do have these oils I'm going to give this to everybody in just a second um, I want you guys to use so the detox blend okay so Zendocrine with the Purify so what we started the class with with one drop of peppermint this is what I did when you guys were in Shavasana and we're going to place this on the lower the, the think of the um, the orange chakra okay on, the, on your low back and then you can also place this on your temples or anywhere else it's going to feel really good we're going to stimulate the peppermint. So anything we detox, we're letting that stay at bay and neutralize it, turn back to the earth. And now we're stimulating, we're living in alignment with the highest version of who we are. So we're in new beginnings here in a good way, okay? So really, um, just be open to that. You're gonna feel really good on your drive home, okay? Um, thank you so much, you guys. And as always, um, I try my best to always remember this. I don't think I mentioned it in the very beginning, but if you've never done a wellness consult with me, I would love to do one with you if this class spoke to you. Um, I've definitely done one with all of my yogis and it's just so much fun. Um, I'm so grateful. I was able to do one today with someone in London. Um, you know, it's been really fun to see this true beauty movement expand and connect with all these incredible women um, and just really all the similarities that we all have no matter how different we all are, right? It's pretty special. So thank you so much, you guys, and have a wonderful night. Namaste.